Hi, I'm Daisy Nell, and I'm going to read a story I wrote called Tilly and the Pirates. The illustrations are by George Ulrich. Tilly is a small brown dog. One day last summer, she was a small brown dog with a big problem. She couldn't find her scrumptious new bone. After chewing on it all morning, she had buried it in the garden for safekeeping. Then when she went back after dinner to dig it up, all she found was a hole. There was only one sus suspect who came to mind, Molly the cat. Molly was always lurking around the corner, just like a spy. Whenever their paths crossed, Molly, who was actually twice Tilly's size, would scowl as she mouthed. Tilly, however, was a dog and the boss of the house. Molly did not agree. Tilly's dog friends all put their noses together to help her look for the bone. They dug up the garden and searched behind every bush but all they found was an old tennis ball and a man's slipper. After digging until her paws were sore, Tilly climbed onto the sofa for a nap. Over the sofa was a painting of a square rigged ship called Redbird, sailing the seas with the breeze in her sails. Redbird looked just like an old fashioned pirate ship. Tilly drifted off and dreamed that she was the captain of Redbird. She led a crew of dogs of all shapes and sizes, curly and smooth, tall and short, with her triangular hat and with a red bird on the front and her high-heeled red boots to help her see over the wheel. She looked like a movie star dog. Captain Tilly squinted through her spyglass and scanned the horizon. A ship came into view, another square rigger, with the name Pretty Kitty on her bow. The ship was full of the snarliest, scruffiest, and unfluffiest cats, and the leader of them all was Mad Molly. She had a black patch over one eye, and around her neck she wore a braided rope with, of all things, Tilly's bone tied to one end. Her crew of cats looked pleased with themselves. Some were hanging from the rigging, while others were sprawled out on the cabin top, licking their paws. Tilly steered Redbird right up alongside Pretty Kitty and barked out, I'm Captain Tilly, and I've come to claim what is mine. Over the sea came a loud chorus of cat calls. Mad Molly gave out a loud snarling, Two cats scrambled up the ratlins and held open the edges of the flag that was flapping in the breeze. It was a black pennant with two crossed dog bones in the center. All of the dogs on Redbird barked furiously. They growled and howled and bared their teeth. The small dogs yipped and squeaked. Captain Tilly said in her most commanding voice, Avast, Mad Molly! You and your pretty kitty cats are pirates. You stole my phone, and I demand that you return it to me at once. Mad Molly leapt up onto the rail. She took Tilly's bone from around her neck and swung it back and forth. Then she twirled it around in a circle and dangled it over the side. The bone hovered over the water as Tilly and the dogs looked on with their mouths wide open, drooling into the sea. As Mad Molly meowed with delight, the other cats licked their whiskers and purred loudly. As the cats cackled amongst themselves, Captain Tilly crawled away from Redbird's wheel and inched her way along the deck to where the long lines were coiled. She climbed up into the rigging with a rope in her teeth, and with one loud yelp, she swung herself through the air to the railing of Pretty Kitty. She snatched her bone and flew through the air back to Redbird. The last thing Tilly remembered was the surprised look on Mad Molly's face. Her eyes bugged out and her orange hair stood up straight in all directions.
Then everything went fuzzy. What's happening? Tilly wondered as she shook her head. She glanced at the painting of Redbird and realized that she was awake from her dream. She heard the sound of claws scratching fabric. She sat upright and cocked her ears forward just in time to hear a clunking sound and see a streak of orange as Molly scooted out from behind the curtains and dashed down the hall. There on the floor was Tilly's long lost bone. Aha, uh -huh, she thought. When I swooped onto the railing of Pretty Kitty and claimed my bone, Molly must have finally realized that I am the real boss. But then Tilly snapped back to reality. Wait, that was only a dream. That was my dream. How did Molly get into my dream to know that I outsmarted her and captured my bone? Tilly slipped off the sofa and took her bone outside and chewed on it for a while. I wonder, she asked herself, do dogs and cats ever have the same dream?